In case you're new here in Canada, specifically Toronto, and this is your first winter here, then you might be wondering what kind of shoes do I have to buy for the winter? So in this video today, I want to share with you some tips that I've gathered from my four winters here in Toronto. So why is it so important to have the right shoes in the winter? And the answer is simple. Here in Toronto, even though it's not the coldest area at all in the whole of Canada, the temperature in the winter can get as cold as minus 22, minus 25 degrees Celsius or even colder. Especially when in some areas the snow gets knee high and also after the temperature gets a bit warmer, the snow starts melting and it turns into this brown slush you have to wade through. So one of the main things that you want to be looking out for when you're buying shoes is to buy the type of shoes where you do not easily slip and do not easily freeze. Just recently, I visited the store Winners, one of my favorite places to hunt for branded bargains. So here you can see that they have a large range of shoes, everything from boots to sneakers and so on. So look at this pair of boots here. These look really fancy, but there are two things that really bother me. First is the heel. The heel is very small, so it's really easy to fall when you walk with these kinds of shoes in the winter. And also take a closer look at the sole here. The sole has practically no profile at all and it will be super easy to slip so a no for this one so next to this you have a boot of the brand aqua Surf. not that stylish not really fond of the design but the great thing is that if you look at the sole it has a really good profile and if you look closer at the tag here it says waterproof winter rated and anti-slip so in terms of safety and comfort i think this could be a pretty good idea Okay, I love white shoes, but definitely not for the winter. Once there is slush from the melting snow, everything will seep into this pair of shoes and it will look muddy and ugly. And this might be a good candidate. This is of the brand Sorel. Okay, quite pricey still at $130, even though it's down from $200. What I instantly like here is the lining. So it has a plush lining, but it's not too thick, so it will not get super hot. And it has a pretty good profile. So pretty okay on the anti-slip factor, although not the best. And here you can also see that it's insulated and waterproof. That is very important because if you take a walk in the winter and the snow is pretty deep, you really want to avoid the snow from seeping into your shoes and getting your feet all wet. So how about these shoes? At first glance, they look pretty sturdy and could be a good candidate for the winter. It also has a pretty good profile at the soles. So I think that it would do a pretty good job in terms of health helping you not to slip when the roads are icy. But there are two things that I definitely do not like about this pair of boots. One is the fact that it's laced all the way through from top to bottom could mean that snow and water could seep in pretty easily. But then again, of course, you have to inspect the shoe further because it might be really well waterproofed after all. And the other thing that I don't really like is take a look at the sole. I mean, it's a pretty sturdy anti-slip, but it also looks pretty heavy. Heavy. At least when I lifted it up, it felt very heavy. And that's one thing that I don't really appreciate with winter shoes because in the winter you have so much clothing on already and you're wading through the snow and the last thing that you need is a pair of boots that weigh you down. By the way, guys, if you found this video useful, then please do let me know by hitting the like button. I would really appreciate that. How about these? Okay, what I like about these, it says waterproof and breathable. That's great. And also that they're super light. They're ultra light. So uh, these are really comfortable but what's lacking here i think is the coverage these shoes these sneakers are pretty low if you pair these with thick and high socks it can still work out but personally i love to have something with a bit more coverage and trust me once it gets cold you'll know what i mean and you'll really appreciate the the shoe or the boot being a bit higher up now how about these here at first glance they don't look too bad not too stylish but not too bad either and the great thing is that it has a fall fur lining which makes the boot really warm but on the other hand it can get too warm and here 
here's the thing. If it's your first winter here, you might want to try and get the warmest everything. The warmest socks and the warmest shoes, the warmest hat, jacket, and so on. But I must tell you that sometimes it can be an overkill if you combine everything at once, even at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Because the thing is that although outside you might feel all warm and cozy, but the moment you step into a streetcar, onto a bus, subway, or into a store, then you can actually start sweating and feel super hot. So here again, this is tested to be suitable at minus 20 degrees. So it's a good indicator that this will keep you warm at those temperatures. Okay, these kinds of sneakers, these you can definitely forget. If you get a really good deal and you really like them for whatever reason, then okay, get them, but it might only be useful for the fall or you might just want to keep them for the next spring. Now, this here looks much more promising. I like this. So style-wise, it's quite fashionable. It's a really nice and classic look. And if you look at the sole, it has a quite great profile, although it will wear off pretty soon, I think. But inside here, you can see that it does not have a lining. so it will not be very warm so you will definitely have to pair this uh, with some really thick and warm thermal socks and that way it can work what i like about this pair of boots is that it has a moderate height it's not too high up but it does cover your ankles and price wise 90 dollars is that cheap or expensive for a pair of boots i would say that it's not really cheap but it's still an acceptable price and also whether or not this pair of shoes would be great for you or not really depends on the fit because what you really want to pay attention to is that this pair of shoes especially in the winter has a nice and snug fit you do not want to have a bunch of space around the shoe and you also do not want it to be too tight so the best thing to do when you're trying on these kinds of shoes is that you have the socks on that you are planning to wear in the winter okay how about these shoes again i think these are quite stylish I like that it has a lining inside, although very thin. It does have a bit of a profile here at the sole, but I would say that it's it's lacking a bit. It could be a bit thicker. It could be more profiled. These shoes look relatively comfortable, but what I'm not fond of really is the platform and the fact that the shoe is quite heavy. But overall, if these shoes are waterproof, if it's a good fit for you, then it could still be a good choice. And because the color is black, it's definitely easy to pair it with practically anything. So let's move on to this pair of boots. And these look really, really cool, especially after watching a lot of Yellowstone and 1883 lately. So what's great about this pair of boots is that they don't have high heels, but they still have a bit of a heel, which looks pretty good. It has a plush lining, although it's quite thin. But the big problem is that the sole looks rather slippery. So I'd say that it would not really be the best idea to wear these when the paths are icy. But one really great thing about these high boots, I mean, I'm just talking about the form here, is that because they're so high, when it snows, it's really, really difficult, almost impossible for any snow or water to get in, especially if you're wearing them over your jeans. These look pretty good. Uh, the heels are a bit high, but definitely stylish. Unfortunately, the sole is lacking a profile. And I'm also not really sure whether or not these are waterproof. And if you peek inside, there doesn't seem to be a lining. So this would still be doable again with thick thermal socks in the winter and walking very carefully. But I would say that these kinds of shoes would be more ideal for the fall, maybe until November. So guys let's sum up everything again let's sum up all the tips i have for you when you're looking for that perfect pair of winter shoes the first one is it should be waterproof to make sure that no water seeps in no melting snow or slush goes into your shoe number two ideally it should have a flat sole not much of a heel maybe just a bit and along with that the sole should have a really good profile so it can help you not to slip the next thing is ideally your winter shoe or boot should have a bit of a lining it could be a fall fur lining a plush lining something to keep you a bit warmer but do consider carefully whether or not you want to have a really plush and thick lining or not because as i said earlier it can get extremely hot and sweaty in those kinds of shoes so i would say something in between not too thin not too thick and if it's on the thin side pair it with really warm thermal socks the next important thing to look out for is for winter shoes or boots that are on the light side you really 
really do not want to walk through the snow with a pair of clunky, heavy, five, six pounds heavy shoes. The next really important thing is about the fit of the shoe and this is super important although the design is great it's waterproof it's anti-slip and so on if the fit is not right then really don't get the shoes and when in doubt it's better to size up a bit because you can always wear thicker socks you can double your socks so you can fit in the shoe just right but if it's too small if it's too tight then there's almost nothing that you can do and if you get shoes or boots that cover your ankles cover your calves make sure that they fit snug around your leg and that they don't leave too much open space around it you don't want it to be too tight but you do not want it to be gaping either because if it's gaping too much then water snow can get in and it won't feel as warm so guys now i want to show you two pair of winter boots that i have that i've been using for the past two to three years the first one is this here these are of the brand rockport a really good brand and i also got them at the same store at winners for i think about 60 dollars so really good bargain for this quality so judging by my own criteria i just talked about these boots are not perfect but they are very good for the fall and also early winter for days when it's not snowing or not snowing too much so it has a bit of a lining here but it's really thin it's not too thick it has a heel but it's very sturdy and it's not too high but still overall i would say it's pretty light it's not wearing me down a bit of a downside is the sole it doesn't have too much of a profile but the fit was just perfect for me and that's why i got it but once there's a snowstorm once it snows really heavily then these shoes are of no use at all and that is when i usually switch to these pair of boots from columbia here so these boots here have a very plush lining and I must say that yes at times it can get a bit too warm so usually when I'm wearing these boots I'm not wearing socks that are too thick at the same time but the best thing about these boots is that they are super super light and that makes them very comfortable so I'm not going to go too much into detail about these pair of boots so if you want to know more about this you can check out this video over here and towards the end of the video I'll talk more about these shoes okay guys that was it for today I hope this was useful thank you so much for watching and see you again next time and stay warm.